it's another delicious day here in the Let's Make Food from Food Kitchen, and today we're gonna make a Thanksgiving side dish alternative to candied yams. So if you don't like candied yams, this is a good one for you. It's butternut squash and apples, and we're gonna roast them with some olive oil and thyme and salt. It's a very simple dish. Then I'm going to top it at the very end of the baking with a little bit of that homemade apple butter that I made just to give it a little bit of extra delight. So what we need to do is prepare our butternut squash and our apple. I'm gonna do the apple last. We need to peel our butternut squash, okay? And I'm just gonna do it with my peeler. Should have brought this bowl over here. And I am using just a regular peeler. You could do this with a knife, you could do it however you want. But for me, I'm just gonna do it this way. You wanna get yourself a medium butternut squash. This one's medium to medium large, but it also depends on how many people you're feeding because you can just adjust your recipe based on how many people you're having. So if it's just two or three of you, get a smaller butternut squash and a smaller apple. If you're having a large group, you could even do two butternut squash and do two large apples or even three. Uh, if you can't find good large apples, then go ahead and get a couple small ones. It's not an exact measurement, so. All right, that is done. I'm gonna go ahead and chop off my ends. And you know, one of the nice things about this recipe is that you can make it as sweet or as unsweet as you like it to be. If you like it sweeter, you could even add a little bit of maple syrup or more apple. And if you don't, just leave it just like this because you'll get some sweetness from your apple and from the apple butter. And I will put a link below to the apple butter. And what we're looking for here is approximately one inch cubes. I'm not gonna get out a ruler. Now when you get to this part, you're gonna wanna remove your seeds. And it's pretty simple. I just take a bowl and scoop them out. This is something you can roast if you wanted to. Oops. Okay, and once you've removed the seeds, you just continue to slice it up like the other half. Watch fingers. It does help to have a good sharp knife for this part. My oven is preheating to 400 degrees. I have a baking sheet with some parchment paper. I'm gonna prepare my apple. We're just gonna peel it and chunk it into, you know, half inch to an inch chunk. The type of apple you wanna pick is going to be up to you. I like to use Granny Smith or Gala or even Honeycrisp. And to make this part faster, I like to use my apple core. <clears throat> That's gone. And then take those out. I'm just gonna quickly clean up any little ends that I need to. There shouldn't be a whole lot. Then I'm gonna slice them up like this. I'll probably split mine between two baking sheets because I have a small oven here, but if you have a large one, just do it on one baking sheet. I have some fresh thyme here. If you don't have fresh, you can use dried. I am going to remove the thyme from the stems and just sprinkle it on there. And it's, it's just a good size sprig. Just sprig, maybe come out to two loose tablespoons of fresh or like one tablespoon of dried. Be about the equivalent, I think. Just be careful, try not to get any stems in there. You don't want anybody to accidentally choke on a stem. And don't forget, if you adjust your quantities, small or large, with the apples and the butternut squash, to adjust your oil and salt and thyme quantities a little bit to accommodate for that. Okay, that part's done. I have about two tablespoons of olive oil. And again, you adjust this. To, you just want a nice light coating. You don't want to saturate. And then I have some kosher salt I'm gonna sprinkle on there. Just stir it up. It's a very simple dish, but it's going to be delicious. And adding that apple butter at the end, you're gonna add it for the last maybe 10 minutes, is going to be delicious. <clears throat> And if you feel like you need more salt or anything, just go ahead and sprinkle it on. And then I'm gonna pour some on my baking dish. Let's see if I need to get a second one or not. I probably do. Oh, maybe not. Maybe I'll make it fit, we'll find out. <laughs> gonna be 
It might take me a few more minutes to bake it because it's not very spread out, but that's okay. You want a single layer, so I'm just trying to get this down to a single layer. Like I said, it's a little closer together because I have this small oven here. It does the job. Okay, it's not a complaint, it does the job. Okay, so now I wanna bake that for 20 minutes and then I'm going to dollop on there some of my apple butter that I made and bake it for another 10 minutes and I'm gonna let it rest for five. So I will see you after all those steps. So don't forget, 20 minutes, roast it, take it out, dollop on your apple butter, put it back in for 10, let it rest for five, see you soon. Okay, it's looking good and smelling good and I just wanted to double check fork tender. You don't, it doesn't need to be super mushy, kind of a little give. And then of course the apples are definitely done. So I am ready to serve this if I'm just putting on plates. If I'm not, let me pick this up a little bit. I am going to put it in a baking dish to keep it warm until I'm ready, especially if this is a side dish because you can make this ahead of time and then just warm it back up in your baking dish. So I am just dumping it in there like so. And if you wanted to top it with something pretty, you could add some green. You could leave it just like this. And just after you've baked it, if you put it back in the oven to warm it up, just give it a little stir. Then I can take my lid and stick it on there and it's ready to go for when I'm ready for it. I'm gonna go ahead and serve some in a bowl. And I just wanna get a nice mixture of squash and apples. And that, is ready to go. Now, of course, you know I'm going to taste it. It's so hot, though. Mm. That is delicious. Last time I made this, I used a gala apple. It was delicious. The Granny Smith, though, that tartness really complements that butternut squash. It's, it's delicious. I highly recommend this as a side dish for your Thanksgiving table. Thanks for joining me here today in the Let's Make Food From Food kitchen. From my kitchen to yours, let's make food from food. That's one boy puppy.